right guys so in just a couple days i'm going to be leaving on my biggest hunt ever we are headed to wyoming to the high country to chase big mule deer with a rifle and i am super pumped so got all my gear laid out here and i'm gonna run you through what i'm using my pack set up my clothing gun boots run you through all that um i always like when guys do a pack rundown uh video on backcountry hunting uh, stuff like that i always think it's pretty cool so like i said in two, three days, whatever, we're headed to Western Wyoming. Um, took us eight years to draw a mule deer tag out there. So we finally drew that this year. I've been going through my gear for the last two years, basically, trying to get um, get a good system put together and what I like to use and you know, fine tuning and tweaking things and swapping things out. So I think I finally got that dialed in and uh, I'm gonna run you through that right now. So I'm gonna start off with the clothing that I'm gonna wear in. So we're gonna be backpacking in for five days at a time. We're gonna do five days first leg and then we're gonna do five more days. So thought on that is we either have a deer down in five days and need to pack it back to the truck or we're not seeing anything and we need to move. So we're gonna pack five days worth of food, cut down a little bit of weight and um, we'll tie us down to one area for the whole trip. So. We'll start with uh, first light boxers, red desert boxers. We're wearing those. Sick of Timberline pants. I've been wearing these the last year and these pants are awesome. They're uh, really versatile pants. Um, you can wear them in warm weather down to pretty cold weather depending on your base layers, but be wearing those in. And I've got a black Ovis mid midweight merino hoodie. It's a quarter zip, so I can zip the chest zipper down and uh, roll the sleeves up, and it vents really well. And then if it's a little bit colder, I can uh, zip it up, put the hood on, and it's pretty warm. Um, I like merino next to skin, partly because after several days it doesn't stink. Um, it takes a little bit longer to dry, but really like the merino and an orange Sika hat Wyoming you need a blaze orange hat or a shirt so I opted for the hat and the band on my uh, back of my pack and first light merino socks I'll have two pair of these with me so wear one in I can alternate every other day to let the other pair dry out for boots I'm running the uh, Scarpa Kinesis Pro um, I've had these about a year and a half now. I've got about 300 miles on them. They're nice and broken in now. Really stiff sole boot, but um, in really rugged terrain. I mean, that's where they shine. Really good boot. The waterproofing on these things is amazing. Probably the best waterproofing I've ever seen in a boot. Really rugged. Um, I see these things lasting a long time. So excited to use these. I think they're going to do really well. And over top of the boot, first light. Brambler gators are crossing small streams, walking through wet grass or snow. These things will keep you dry all the way up to your knee, so that's really nice. So be wearing those in. And that is all my clothes that I'm wearing in, and I've got a couple items in the pack that I'll show you, but we'll get into that next. So um, next I'll show you Bono harness. This is a Sitka. Bono Bibby, and inside I've got a pair of Maven C1 binoculars. These are their new um, kind of budget Bono, 300 and some dollars. These things are awesome for the price. I compared them to Vortex Razor, and I thought they were every bit as good for less than half the price. Um, tripod adapter for the Bonos, so I can throw those on my uh, tripod glass with the Bonos on there, so that should come in pretty handy, but that's all that's in the bivvy, and then I've got the new Nikon stabilized 3000, the Monarch 3000 rangefinder, and so far this thing is super impressive. The, uh, the stabilization on this thing is just unreal, and I really like it, so look forward to using that. Now 
Next up is my rifle. This is a Bergara B14 uh, Hunter with the Vortex 6.5 to 20 Viper scope. Um, got it dialed in all the way up to 1,000 yards. Great shooting gun. Shoots about half in the way at 100 yards. Um, this is a 6.5 Creedmoor, so short action. <clears throat> really, really nice gun for the price. About I uh, got about 650 bucks in the gun and then a few hundred bucks in the scope, but pretty good uh, budget friendly gun, I guess you'd say. Comes right, comes in right at nine pounds with ammo, so it's a little bit heavier than I wanted, but for my budget, it's gonna work this year and it, uh, it's really a good shooting gun. All right, so next up we got my pack set up. This is a Kafaru Reckoning with the 26 inch Hunter duplex frame. Um, I started out with the QU when I first started gearing up for this trip and uh, I liked the QU. It was a good bit lighter, but it just didn't handle the weight like I thought it should. So sold it, got the, uh, the Kafaru frame, and I'm telling you what, this thing is awesome. I've been training for the last year with this thing. Um, I've carried upwards of 100 pounds in it and it, it doesn't hurt to carry that kind of weight it just feels heavy so it doesn't put any hot spots on your shoulders or hips and uh, just the way it's designed and built it, it's honestly the best pack out there in my opinion but um, so I've got the, the guide lid on here with the, with the pocket so I'm gonna pop this off now so that pops off I've got my tripod my spotter right here so that pops off like that and I've got the rest of the pack so tripod and spotter this is a ProMaster um, 525C carbon um, with the ProMaster ball head on it um, I was originally going to use a fluid head but I actually like the ball head better and it's lighter so I'm gonna run that. Um, this is a Gabella's Crotos 65 millimeter spotter. Um, it's a little heavy, but I got a heck of a deal on this thing and I couldn't pass it up. I got it for 200 bucks, so um, really good spotter. Um, even for original price, I think it's a good spotter. But I've got the um, phone cam iPhone adapter on here. It's all aluminum, so this screws onto the case, the iPhone case, and you can pop it on there and video right through the the scope so that's going to be pretty nice but uh, about a five pound setup right there but for high country mule deer I think I'm really going to need that spotter so we'll go over what's in the lid first so in the outside pocket merino gloves first light um, tactical scree gloves I think they're called um, leather palm I really like these for you know doing camp work and stuff like that. Kind of, they're a pretty rugged glove. Um, Havilon Piranha with three blades. I've been using that Havilon for several years now. I really like it. You just got to be careful not to cut yourself. Um, my second water purification is the uh, stair pen. I'll be using that with a Nalgene bottle. So. Actually, this will be the first time using the stair pin, so that'll be something new. So inside the lid, this is my climate seat pad and pillow all in one. So you blow this up, you can fold it, you can make a good size pillow with it, and it makes a good seat pad for glass or camp or whatever. Really lightweight and uh, pulls double duty for a couple different things. Let's see. First light merino neck gaiter. Sika core heavyweight quarter zip shirt. I've had this for a couple years now. This is probably one of my favorite Sika pieces that I have. This thing is awesome. And a Sika Ascent beanie. The wind stopper in it, another favorite of mine. I'm a big fan of beanies and I really like that one. Got a four liter MSR 
dromedary bag so you can fill that up and find water and hang it back at camp. So that's everything in the lid and my tag is actually in the back pocket of the lid. Alright, let's get into the main part of the bag here. So I've got two medium kafaru pullouts. This one's got my um, just miscellaneous personal stuff. I got paracord in there, my medicine, a small first aid kit. Um, Nothing too groundbreaking, breaking, just stuff everybody needs. And this one I've got two 10,000 milliamp anchor power supplies. Um, one will be for charging my phone and my inReach, and the other one will be for charging my camera batteries. So in this bag, I've got eight Panasonic batteries that goes to the camera that's filming this right now and I will be able to charge those with this dual charger and the USB cords. And I've also got a short six inch iPhone cord to charge my phone. So that's all for that pull out and that's my power system. Moving on inside the bag, this is a dry bag that has my down puffy jacket in it. So this jacket is made by Goose Feet Gear. They're a small shop out of Georgia, I believe. And um, I was doing some searching, trying to find a good puffy insulating jacket. And everything I was running across just really wasn't what I wanted. So I somehow found this guy online and um, shot him a message and he made a jacket exactly what I wanted, made to my size and the price was really good. This jacket weighs eight ounces. It is 950 fill of the uh, hydrophobic down, four ounces of fill in this and the jacket weighs eight ounces. So it's crazy light and it should be really warm. Another pair of socks in that bag and my merino base layers. So next up in clothing is my outdoor research rain jacket. And I opted for a rain shell as my outer because it blocks the wind and it's obviously waterproof, so it kind of holds double duty and it's nice and lightweight. It packs down real small. And that is actually all the clothes I've got right there. That's all I'm taking. Another MSR four liter bag for water. Um, a pack cover by Jimmy Tarps. Got this on eBay for like $32, big enough to cover my whole pack. It weighs nothing. So. Um, Alright, we'll get into the sleep system. So the tent we're going to be using is the Seek Outside Little Bug Out Shelter. We've got two base ends and the connecting tarp, so it's a giant shelter. I've actually got it set up outside right now to uh, test it in the rain, but we can split up between three different people. And each person only has to carry about a pound of weight and it packs down about that big. So I don't have that in here right now, but that's the shoulder we'll be running. Um, this is a bug bivy. So it's got a waterproof, waterproof floor and a mesh top. So I can put my sleeping pad and my quilt in there and it protects you from bugs, keeps everything contained. It's really nice. This weighs about eight ounces. So it's nice and lightweight and it doubles as my ground cloth. So the sleeping pad is the Climate Static V insulated. Um, this is a really nice pad. Really liking it so far. Um, weighs about a pound, maybe a little over a pound. So it's not probably the lightest option, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good pad. Let's move it on with the sleep system since I'm on that category. So in here is my 10 degree quilt. Um, this is made by 6AM Outdoors. 
Um, really liking the quilt setup. I've been running it for the last year or so, and uh, this quilt actually packs down a little bit smaller than this, but I've got it, this game bag pulling double duty as my stuff sack, along with my extra compression straps for my pack. So instead of packing the, um, the quilt in its own stuff sack, I just use the uh, game bag. If I happen to kill something, I'll just stuff the quilt down the bottom. Um, cook set, I've got this GSI one liter pot. Inside of that, I've got four ounces of fuel and my stove. So the stove is a Soto Windmaster. Really, really like this stove. It's super lightweight. I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. So that's the stove right there. Got the little pot holder that clips on top. Screw that onto your fuel, and uh, that's all you need for boiling water. Really lightweight. All right, so I've got another game bag in here with a garbage bag. These are the uh, Black Ovis game bags, by the way, which I've used them the past year, and they work really well. Got a insulated coffee mug, and. I may or may not take this with me. I'm not sure yet. It weighs about a pound. This is the um, A Light Monarch camp chair. Um, for most of my backpacking trips, I carry this with me. It's, it's really, really a nice chair, and it's nice to be able to sit on something besides the ground. I'm still debating on whether I'm going to carry that or not. I'm probably going to just because it's it's so nice. So in here, I've got my uh, my food cozy, so once I pour my boiling water into the food bags, I can stick them down in here and keep them hot. I've got this foldable, um, it's Fossils, I think that's what it's called, bowl. So it's just a nice little lightweight bowl, doesn't weigh anything. Been using that for a while now, that works really good. And a Sea to Summit Spork, the long handled one, so can't do without that. <clears throat> so that's literally everything in my pack besides food. All this stuff comes at around 24 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight and uh, packs down really good. Um, with my rifle, with food, with water, I'm right at 48 pounds, and that's for five days of hunting. So, so a couple more items I forgot is my uh, camp shoes. These are kind of a Croc knockoff. I got them off of Amazon. Um, I don't even know what brand they are. Six ounces for the pair, so super lightweight and uh, really comfortable. So those are my camp shoes <clears throat> and my. Uh, Secondary water filtration is a Sawyer squeeze. So I've had good luck with this in the past. I've got a 32 ounce bag, a dirty bag in there. Um, my plan is with the MSR bags, I got an adapter that screws onto this that goes onto the bag. So fill the bag up, screw this on, I can hang it and dispense water out as I need it. So no hoses or anything like that, super simple. So let's pack this stuff all back up and uh, so let's pack this stuff all back up and I'll show you the food. So this is five days of food. I'll run you through what I'm taking for just a random day here. So this is the bag that I'll carry with me during the day, and then I've got my meals that I'll leave back at camp for for the evening. But uh, gallon Ziploc bag. Um, for breakfast, I've got uh, granola, oats, and dried strawberries. And for breakfast, I'm kind of doing random things. I've got this, I've got oatmeal, and then I've got one of the peak breakfast skillets that I've uh, broken in half and I'm going to use it for two different days. So breakfast, I've got my uh, coffee. Um, just doing the Maxwell House bags, 
uh, we, this is what we drink at the house, so this tastes exactly the same as home. I've got a little uh, creamer packet and two of the uh, sugar packets. So I've got one of those in each bag. Cliff protein bar. Small bag of uh, trail mix that I made up with almonds, coconut, bananas, pineapple, kiwi, and um, sunflower seeds, not sunflower seeds, um, pumpkin seeds. So a small bag of that. For lunch, I've got a raisin bagel with peanut butter, honey, and bacon on it. These bagels, um, I think they're Dave's brand. I can't remember, I got them at Walmart. They have like 12 grams of protein alone and they're really good. So I made a bunch of these up and vacuum sealed them. This is like 620 calories and uh, 26 grams of protein. So that's gonna be my lunch for each day. I've got three ounce bag of uh, Jack Link's jerky. And I've got uh, two hydrate and recover type drinks um, per day. This is made by Acclimate. So it's supposedly supposed to help you with altitude. I don't know about that, but it's energy and hydration and uh, you know a lot of vitamin C and different stuff in it. And it, uh, it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna be taking two of those a day. And then for dinner, I've got peak refuel dinners. Um, I'm gonna be eating both servings this one's 690 calories, 44 grams of protein, so um, really high in protein, high in fat. <clears throat> so that is this pack back up. One Ziploc and one of these meals comes out to about 3,000 calories a day and 1.43 pounds of food. So for five days of food, I've got just a little over seven pounds. So we'll pack this up into this bag. So that's my pack bag of food. It's uh, pretty thin. Put that between my pack bag and my frame on my pack and uh, keep that weight close to my back. I'll be able to hang this and use it as a meat bag if I get lucky enough and kill mule deer. Got that bag, got five uh, dinner bags that'll go inside the pack on the top. So that's my food for five days in the backcountry. So stay tuned. We got a lot of hunting videos coming up. I'm gonna be gone for roughly two weeks on this trip. I'm gonna have a lot of pictures and video. I'm gonna try to shoot as much video as possible and try to make it really good. So be looking forward to that. I know I'm excited about it and I uh, hope you guys will follow along. Thanks.